Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This grand piano, um, it's, it's kind of right on the border between a grand piano and a baby grand, um, has been completely refurbished top to bottom. My, my full uh, checklist. Um, and, uh, and I'm very happy with, with how this one turned out. From a cosmetic standpoint, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of a, um, kind of a, a uh, rich, dark mahogany. Um, has, it's, it's, it's kind of a, um, well, it's, it's beautiful. You just have to see it in person. It has, has maybe some slight burgundy tones, hints of burgundy in it. Um, and then the, get a shot of the, the pedals there that are, uh, that are beautiful and shiny, and the wheels as well that, uh, that we've redone, and things like the hinge. And inside, everything is about as clean as you can get it for uh, a piano of this age, that short of, short of rebuilding. So for, for refurbishing, this piano is, um, is just in, in absolutely perfect condition. Uh, keys, keys are completely new, completely redone. Um, they were about like any other piano from this era, the way they get all chipped up and ugly and, and in terrible condition. But, uh, but these, are all, these are all brand new. We have a, we have a key top room here, at the, here in the shop. All we do all day long is key tops, key tops, key tops in that one room while other people are, are doing things like refinishing and other people are reshaping hammers, tightening, lubricating, regulating, all of that stuff. Everything is done on this piano. So this piano easily, easily has, has many decades still left of, of great service. So uh, just a quick kind of rundown of what is, all is included in the refurbishing. Um, uh, the refinishing, the key tops, like I said, very thorough cleaning. Everything is taken apart. The action is taken apart. The, the action stack is taken out. The keys are taken out. All of that is very thoroughly cleaned inside the action cavity where the action sits under the strings, the soundboard, the plate, um, underneath the, the, the pedals and the lyres and all of the support beams. Everything is clean on, um, all around. Um, Hammers, hammers get indented. The hammers come up and they hit the string from below. And over the decades, from from striking the string, they get they get flattened and they get thick uh, indents in the uh, in the string. So we've completely reshaped those so they're back to back to the rounded shape. So rather than a flat surface that's hitting the string, it's more of just a, a point, the crown of the hammer that's actually striking the string, which provides a much more um, pleasing tone. Then a full, uh, oh, the, the, then the hammers are aligned to the, to the string so they're not, not hitting off to one side or the other, but they're hitting dead center right on the, right on the string, which, is, which provides a full transfer of power. Um, also pinning, pinning all, all, of the, all of the hammers rotate, they pivot, there's a pin that goes through at that pivot point. And so wherever there are issues, and, and there are lots of issues that arise even on pianos that are um, much, much younger than this piano, where, where rather than just a nice straight up and down, it kind of becomes sort of a random, uh, uh, a random pattern up and down until you take care of the pinning issues. And so that's what we've done on this piano. Then of course lubrication of all of the all of the parts, tightening of all the parts. Then, then the real work begins, which is the regulation. Regulation is everything from leveling the keys to ensuring that the distance that you depress the key, that's a very specific distance. Um, the distance from the hammers to the strings, when the hammers are at rest, that's a very specific distance. And there's, I don't know, maybe a dozen or so others, um, from spring strength to checking to, to the uh, dampers, um, lots, of, lots of different uh, specs that have, to be, that have to be right on. And then we do the, the pedals, make sure the pedals are all, um, all of the parts there are, are replaced and working well, and, and then we tune it. So, piano is in absolutely excellent condition, like I said a few minutes ago um, to begin this video. This piano for sure has, has a long, long life left in it. So let's listen to it.
Um, so this, uh, I, I absolutely put my uh, stamp of approval on this one. Um, if you if you wanted a, a grand piano and, and no question about it, upright pianos, grand pianos, there is a real um, hierarchy there, and, and um, no question about it, grand pianos are superior to upright pianos. I love upright pianos. I love all pianos, but uh, it's undeniable that a grand piano is superior. So if, if, if that's you, if you would like a grand piano, but maybe can't afford you know, some of these others um, that, are, uh, that are you know triple or quadruple the price of, of one like this, this is a great, great option for, for getting a, a grand piano. Love it. Call me um, if you have any questions about it or if you just want to come in. My cell is 801-830-0011 or the address here is 1497 South State in Orem. Um, if you're out of state, even as far as shipped pianos as far as the East Coast, that's surprisingly reasonable and you can, you can buy this piano with confidence, even, even sight unseen, that it will be absolutely as, um, as represented in this video. That everything is, is just in, in perfect condition, as perfect as it possibly can be. Um, perfect conditions it possibly can be in. Um, I don't think I have anything left to say about this piano. You'll love it. Thanks for, thanks for watching.